Johnny Depp may give a great performance as Boston crime legend Whitey Bulger in Warner Brothers' Black Mass, but I'm afraid Black Mass falls just short of greatness. It is, however, another one in a long line of movies that try to transmute the real-life bloody exploits of gangsters into cinematic gold. In fact, Warner Brothers, the studio behind Black Mass, has been in the business of gangster movies since the advent of sound recording. Three of Warner Brothers' classic early gangster films are Little Caesar, with the great Edward G. Robinson as the Capone-like Rico, Public Enemy, with the grapefruit-handling Jimmy Cagney, and Scarface, The Shame of a Nation, with stage actor Paul Muni in another Capone-like role. Of course, Robert De Niro memorably played Capone more recently in the 1987 Brian De Palma version of The Untouchables, and the great De Palma, by the way, also directed the 1983, the notorious 1983 remake of Scarface, with Al Pacino in one of the greatest roles of his career. More recently, Jack Nicholson played the suspiciously whitey bulger-like Frank Costello in Martin Scorsese's Academy Award-winning 2006 crime drama The Departed. The best Boston set crime drama, however, remains the 1973 The Friends of Eddie Coyle, starring the great Robert Mitchum and based on the best-selling and acclaimed novel by Boston's own George V. Higgins. The film tells the story of Eddie Coyle, a three-time loser and gunrunner from for the mob. Uh, Dylan, the bar owner depicted in the film and played by Peter Boyle, is probably based at least in part on Whitey Bulger. You can always take a look at Fergus Fergie Colm, played by the great and late British actor Pete Postlethwaite in Affleck's The Town. And don't get me started on the dueling Whitey Bulgers in cable TV's Ray Donovan. I don't think we've seen the last of Whitey at the movies. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs>